Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a market prep video for May 10th, 2022. Well, my goodness, as spring kind of really kicks into full effect around the country here, we sure have the bears out in force. They pushed on lower yesterday, um, actually creating some pretty nasty patterns, uh, particularly in the SPY and the QQQ. That being said, there is a slight hope that we could start catching a relief rally here soon. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. You know, yesterday was just one of those pile-on days where those bears decided to drive on lower, and it created new 2022 lows across all four of the major indexes. And as we can see here in the diamonds chart, looking um, through here, we're, we're just pretty ugly where we continue to make, you know, lower highs and lower lows now in the market, officially confirming this downtrend and our overall downtrend, although very choppy and very volatile, we still have to recognize the fact that we're downtrending. We broke this low ever so slow, slightly here yesterday, and then we caught a little bit of a bounce right at the end of the day, picking it back up, but we still ended up closing just a little bit lower there. And as you can see, we have multiple levels of price resistance above that we're going to have to work on. So first step is if we can rally up into here, if we can pop through that area, um, then we can start to catch a little bit of that relief um, in the market. But you'll want to pay attention we have substantial resistance levels above and we still have a lot of data coming out this week that could continue to um, either inspire both of the bulls or bears so we can look for pretty substantial volatility in the market if i pull this on back you'll notice we have a bit of a price support right here it's not a big one we have a little bit of price support there trying to hold but remember guys as we as we continue to push to try and um, um, find these new market lows we can have lots of volatility. So we could see um, a, a bounce back up in here to see if we can test some of these resistance levels. But if those bears find inspiration, it really wouldn't be all that hard for them to drive on lower here in the market as well. So make sure you're staying on your toes. You're staying very, very focused here. I kind of lean toward a little bit of a, a bullish pop, and but that may be a little bit of a bias because of some trades I put on yesterday. But um, we'll talk about that in just a second. Let's take a look at our technicals here in the chart. My goodness, these are dismal. Um, we did come down here, um, did kind of a little air kiss there of the 500 day moving average. Notice our 34, our 20 day moving average have crossed down through the 50 day. So pretty darn bearish here on the chart, but Tagging that 500 day may give us a little bit of hope, uh, fingers crossed, that we can catch just a little bit of a relief rally. I'm not saying it's gonna be sustained or anything like that, but maybe just a little bit of a bounce. Um, we'll, we sh shall see as the day goes on. And then if we take a look at our SPY, SPY also gruesome here in the chart, continuing to set lower highs, lower lows. We just continue to move on down here in the market. And unfortunately, we broke down through the 4,000 level here yesterday, um, closing below that 4,000 level. So we're gonna have to watch that pretty closely here. That's a big round number. Big round numbers tend to be um, that level that is a solid support or it can serve as a tremendous resistance. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. As you can see this morning, we're trying to bounce back up just a little bit 
uh, above that 400 level. We'll have to see if it can hold uh, through the day. Um, notice right in here, we've got lots of price resistance in the chart above. So we are in a short term condition oversold and a little bit of relief rally would be nice, but I certainly couldn't guarantee that with um, the way the market is acting and that bearish sentiment um, all over the place um, around the world. If you take a look, we still have this nasty downtrend in place as well. So as we, if we can rally, we'll want to kind of keep in mind that we could rally up into these areas and still see those bears coming back. We do have some price support in this area trying to hold us. So again, fingers crossed, we can catch a little bit of relief here in that chart. But I wouldn't rush in thinking that the all clear has been sounded if we bounce here or that this is a good place to enter long stocks because we certainly could um, bounce into these resistance levels and continue selling to the downside. If we take a look at our technicals here, they're pretty dismal. Notice we did cross down through our 500 day. Again, that gives us that maybe a little bit of a hope that we'll bounce off of that. But when you look at the other technicals here, they are not good. Lots of resistance above and um, our short term averages down through our 50 day. Um, pretty darn bearish overall. If we take a look at our QQQ, boy, this one gets ugly. QQQ is being um, tremendously affected by bond rates. And some good news out there, bond rates kind of ease just a little bit in early, um, early trading this morning. So maybe we'll catch that little bit of relief. But if you take a look here in QQQ, we dropped below that 3000 level in the QQQ yesterday. And though we're trying to bounce back up on that first thing this morning, you'll want to notice that we have tremendous resistance level above in these charts. You know, it's amazing that stocks like Campbell Soup right now is outperforming Apple and Microsoft and Nvidia and stocks like that. Some of the staples are doing better than techs, which really kind of show you uh, the trouble that we might be in here in the market. Now, if we can catch that relief rally, we'll want to watch these levels up here. Um, if the bears find additional inspiration and we stay and we drop back below 3000, it could be ugly here, um, meaning that we could fall pretty hard if that were the case. So let's hope, let's hope something geopolitically doesn't break out. Let's hope something um, in the earnings reports can continue to um, inspire those bulls enough to defend. We'll have to watch that closely, wait and see. And I wouldn't rule out substantial whipsaws throughout the day. If you take a look right here, um, our QQQ um, failed horribly here at its 500 day. And you'll notice that our 20 day moving average is now starting to cross down through the 500 day. Um, pretty ugly here in this oversold condition. Our 34 EMA is close. And notice that our 50 day moving average is diving toward that 500 day pretty quickly. So um, we've got a lot of work to repair this market. And it may be kind of a challenging thing to do um, over the summer where markets continue to, I mean, typically slow down a little bit um, as we kind of run into those summer doldrums. And then with more Fed um, increases on the way, um, it may be a little bit tough to really start perking this market up a lot. If we take a look at our IWM, IWM, boy, this one is really ugly. Um, I've mentioned this before, if we were to drop below um, some of these support levels that we could really come down here and test these 168, 169 areas in the chart. And we made a run for that yesterday um, with a selling that is just um, parabolic to the downside. Now that big straight down move like that um, usually can't be sustained for too terrible long and we could catch a little bit of relief. However, I do think um, IWM is coming down here um, and I don't see much of anything that's going to stop it from getting there. Although we may get some relief in this uh, move, um, watch as we press back into these resistance levels um, for that next opportunity um, to maybe pick up some short positions. Lots of resistance above in the chart. If we stumble in any way, shape or form,
perform mm-hmm. and re-inspire those bears today, uh, who knows? Um, if panic sets in, we could be down there pretty quick. Let's take a look at our um, VIX. Whoops. Our VIX, interestingly enough, the VIX rose pretty sharply yesterday, but interestingly enough, as hard as the selling was coming in yesterday, we really didn't see panic. And and that gives me just a little bit of hope that we might see that relief rally around the corner here soon. I'm not saying today, but maybe around the corner here soon, we might catch a little bit of relief rally. Noticing that we still have not been able to break out of this. And what's interesting is we didn't break out, even though we set a new low in the market, we didn't break that fear um, or hold that fear that we saw on Friday um, at the top here. So kind of an interesting thing. We didn't break on through. So I didn't really see a massive wave of panic that you might would have might have expected with um, the pressure that we saw in selling. And, and that really was around the world um, yesterday. So pretty ugly overall. So keep an eye on that. I will continue to say if we break above this area here, guys, it could be game over. We could see the institutions really start to capitulate and um, sell pretty hard. So watch that. If we start breaking above those areas, that could be a real problem for us. If we can start resting and pulling back here, remember we've got these um, trends that we could maybe hope that we could catch a little bit of relief back into those trends. If we take a look at our T2122, T2122, we have probably our best hope of a little bit of a relief rally. Notice here, we've pushed down here. We're really, really close to just the the complete bottom of the ocean, and this is the bullish reversal zone. So what that means is, is if we can find any kind of relief, if those bulls can get inspired in any way, we have opened a very large opportunity to the upside. Now, my hope is, guys, is that we don't do one of these silly moves that we saw over here, where we just rip to the upside like there's nothing out there to stop us to the upside because when we get those moves then we get that punishing whipsaw that can move us back down but if we can start gradually moving up in here that would be nice to see a little bit of relief we do have some things on um, the economic calendar though later this week that may um, uh, put a dark cloud over that but we'll we'll take a look at that in just a second so keep an eye on t2122 it is suggesting a little relief should be on the way here soon our t2108 boy this is pretty ugly here t2108 diving hard yesterday now we haven't taken out the lows here that we had earlier this year but obviously this was a pretty ugly day uh, pushing down here at the close of the day only 19 percent of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average that's an extreme oversold condition that again kind of leans into that little bit of relief rally um, that could be on the way our uh, t2107 well pretty much the same thing t whoops that's t2101 t21 Oh, seven. Let's see if I can type. T2107 um, setting new lows. So pretty ugly here on T2107 as we continue to fall um, pretty hard here in the market. Only 22 and a half percent of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. It's pretty difficult to build much of a bullish case when that's um, going on. Let's take a look at that T2101. Interestingly enough here yesterday when we had that rough selling in here, we didn't see a big spike in momentum. So again, that kind of leans me into this idea that we could see a bit of a relief rally that may have that opportunity to um, extend just a little bit here soon and maybe start squeezing out some of those short traders but I wouldn't hold my breath on that we're gonna have to stay very very focused and watch for some nasty potential whipsaws throughout the day as this data rolls out and we move toward these uh, key inflation numbers um, on Wednesday and Thursday so with that how about we take a look at some of that economic calendar and see what we have going on here today first First off, we have a very light day, as you can see um, on that economic calendar. Not much happening here. 
We've got some um, uh, bond auction here, um, a three-year bond auction, and a parade of Fed speakers. So, of course, that can create some volatility depending on what these folks say. So you'll want to keep an eye on that. And then remember, as we roll forward here tomorrow, have to be prepared for tomorrow morning. We've got a CPI number. That CPI number, they're trying right now to project that we're going to see an improvement in inflation. I don't know, when you look at food prices, energy prices, that might be a little bit of a tough reach. So keep an eye on that closely because this could create a lot of volatility um, Wednesday morning. So watch that one closely. And unfortunately, it doesn't end there. We've got the PPI and jobless claims over here on Thursday that can keep us on the edge of our seat. So. Um, just make sure you're planning your risk carefully. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now, our earnings calendar is a busy day today. Um, uh, even though there's not those kind of names that really move the market a bunch, we do have a very busy day today. Um, we've got um, OXY um, that we'll be reporting today. Um, we'll want to keep an eye on that. Oil sector continues to be one of those areas where we saw some selling yesterday, but and we saw we we're starting to see a little bit of toppiness in some of these charts, but there are still quite a few holding up pretty strong. We're going to get some um, um, reports from like BHC today. Oof, yikes, um, BHC, not looking good here in the pre-market. Um, continuing, whoops, that's a two-day chart. Continuing that cascade sell-off here to the downside. That is uh, brutal, um, not looking good there. Uh, Peloton will be reporting today. Um, another one um, uh, seeking out some new lows here, not looking good at all. We've got uh, KGC that we'll be reporting. Looks like we're getting a little tiny bounce there on KGC. We're gonna hear from um, Unity Software here today. Uh, PLNT is on the list here today. A little bit of a bounce trying to hold in there. Um, SYY is on that list today. Uh, TTD, Trade Desk, is on that list today. Looking for, it looks like it's trying to catch a little tiny bounce here um, in that price action. We're gonna hear from Coin. And boy, coin um, had some ugly selling here yesterday. Looks like it's trying to at least hold um, around those lows. Um, EA, big old ugly sell-off here, trying to bounce this morning um, uh, just a little bit. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. So we've got a lot of stocks moving around here considerably um, with a lot of uncertainty in these sell-offs. So um, I think we're gonna have to really stay on our toes. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and click that bell icon when it pops up. And if you feel like the video is worthy and helpful, if you could do me that favor, continue to click those thumbs up buttons, leave those brief comments. It helps the channel to continue to grow. And I do truly appreciate it. Um, the channel is growing. It's, um, uh, you know, I, I never in my wildest dreams expected any, uh, there'd be this kind of response to videos that have uh, no prediction in them. I'm just looking at the technicals in the chart, trying to prepare for the day without a bunch of hype um, that we typically see. And so I just want to thank you so much, everyone who does support this kind of content. You guys are awesome and I do truly appreciate it. Now let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up and we'll want to be really careful here, guys, because a lot of these stocks that held up well actually had some pretty big moves. So First off, take a look at some of the defensive sector stocks. And I mentioned this yesterday, defensive sector stocks holding up pretty well. Take a look at Coca-Cola. Now it's not quite ready for prime time here for me, but notice that we're sliding out from underneath that little trend. We're trying to get up here and recover and hold that little support break in the chart. So watch that carefully for that opportunity that Coke might take off here yet to the upside. We certainly saw uh, food stocks um, and some of the 
oldest and most boring stocks, you know, in the market, um, really surged to the upside. Kellogg's uh, food stocks, again, very, very strong. Parabolic move to the upside. I wouldn't want to chase this. A rest or pullback, though, could give you an opportunity. Um, I mentioned KHC yesterday. That continued to move to the upside, looking good. KHC trying to break out. Again, little few more few too many days to the upside we may look for a little rest or pullback here in khc so i wouldn't chase it but watch for that next opportunity we saw schmuckers um really take off yesterday just pow like a rocket um took off but we are testing some price resistance up here in the chart after such a big move a little rest a little consolidation a little pullback even would make some sense remember we've got a trend out here so it may have to rest in there for quite a while before it continues on up but we're seeing a lot of these food related stocks looking very very, very good. Take a look at post. Um, when was the last time um, you looked at post for a potential trade? Ripping to the upside. I took some profits on my CLX yesterday. CLX made that nice move working up here trying to fill that gap. So I took some profits and um, sold some covered calls on this position um, yesterday. Have a little bit of bias on this still, but that continues um, to look good. A little rest or pullback may be due, and then we'll see what happens from there. So keep an eye on CLX. Again, defensive sector stocks holding up quite well. On the shopping side of things, take a look in that defensive sector. We also had a pretty good day. Now these are still fighting downtrends here in the chart, but we saw stocks like um, Walmart putting in a nice bullish engulfing candle yesterday. Watch for that possibility it could follow through. We saw Target trying to push up yesterday. Kind of popped up, looked really good, failed, pulled back a little bit, but it might be worth keeping an eye on if we can start breaking some of these um, downtrends and pushing on up. Um, remember, discount sellers would be um, something that we would want to be paying attention to considering the condition of the overall market and the pressure that consumers are feeling. They're going to start looking for different shopping choices. So watch those closely. Now, other places that you might want to keep an eye on, um, take a look. Um, we saw, and I've been talking about those potential short places here in the market to, to look for those shorting opportunities. Goldman Sachs, um, I think um, I'm justified in saying I was absolutely correct about um, these continuing to sell off last week. We found those resistance levels continued to push down. Take a look at like WFC. Um, found those resistance levels pushing back down to the low. Citibank um, finding those resistance levels pushing on down. BAC um, pushing on down. Now these may catch a little bit of a pop up if we can catch a relief in the market, but we'll want to watch these resistance levels as we push back up for that next opportunity to potentially short um, the financials. I don't expect financials to really improve all that much when we're starting to see that demand destruction um, around the world. Um, uh, we're just going to have to watch those kind of closely. So keep an eye on those. Um, any rally back in some of these tech sector stocks? Take a look at Microsoft. If we're going to continue moving in these downtrends as we break these new lows in the charts, we're going to want to watch these pretty carefully. Any rally back into these resistance levels, we want to be looking for that next opportunity to short along the downtrend line. So be careful rushing into these blindly thinking that these just have to come back. Remember, we're still trying to reset some of these really high PE, PE ratios in the market. There may still be downside in these charts, so watch those closely. Um, and so those could also set up some pretty interesting uh, potential short trades if we continue to move like this in the market. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day um, of trading. I know this is really challenging. I, I, I know that um, no one wants to hear about you know the bearishness in the market and we, we all want to be trading to the long side and I get that but I have to tell you it's been one of my most profitable years trading to the short side 
of the market here as we continue to move down because remember stocks fall faster than they rise and so it's been a very very profitable year for um, uh, folks on right way options um, having done that but I do have to tell you that I am starting to believe that we're a little bit oversold and a little bit of relief may come into the market I could be early on my timing in here but fingers crossed we could get a little bit of relief so with that guys be be safe, take care of yourselves, have an awesome day, and I want to see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Wish you all the best.